This is FYI on your TV, brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham, and I have got Carrie Cunningham with me and Mary Wright. You are both the coordinators for Rainbow 101 Lanark. Thanks for joining us today. Thank, Thank you. you. Can you tell us a little bit about what Rainbow 101 Lanark is about? Rainbow 101 Lanark is a meeting space, a gathering space, um, a place that we are trying to create that is a safe space for 2S LGBTQ plus people and allies. Excellent, excellent. Now can you tell folks what 2SLGBTQ plus is? Two spirit, mm -hmm. lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, and did I miss one? Plus. Plus, excellent, excellent. And it's a safe place for people. Okay, and then like you meet once a month. Yes. You meet once a month. Second Friday of the month. Okay. And you, you talk about different subjects and everything like, uh, each time. Uh, do you have, um, I'm, I'm, I'm sure you're a great support for people. We're hoping um, to be. Yes. Yes, for sure. For sure. So, I mean, I know there's people that question, you know, coming out and that sort of, do people come out to your meetings if they're just questioning their own? Oh, I everyone's welcome. Um, yeah. I, you know, we don't make you uh, sign anything at the beginning no. that says, you know, it's, it's anybody and everybody's welcoming. You don't have to actually come out at a meeting. It's, no. it's not designed that way. No. But if you're questioning or yes. if you just have an interest, like uh, one of my things is like, I know what being a lesbian is, but I don't really understand all those other G, T, the B's and the T's, and, yes. the, and, and it's a learning experience for me as well. So Absolutely. if we have a, a conversation on the alphabet, I, I mean, it's, it's a learning experience, and, and it's a safe place to learn, and you can ask questions that you might not necessarily ask mm. at another time. So, so it, like, it's a supportive all the way around. All if the you way want around. to learn, you can come to one of your meetings. Yeah. Absolutely. 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 And that's a lot of, lot, big part of it. I mean, I'm a social worker and, and that's what we try and do is, is to get people to accept people and just learn more. Like exactly. if you know about it, you accept it better. We're trying to get people to come together. Yes. And that's the point is to understand each other. And if we don't, if we're not visible to each other, we're not going to be able to understand. And each one of us has our own story, but there's enough commonality in our stories that we've got common ground to stand on so we can understand when someone comes in and needs to share something. Absolutely, and you, you, you have different subjects all the time. And before we went on air, we were talking about how many people come to your meetings. And I, I like the fact that you, you, you say there's about 10 to 12, but it's different people all the time. There is a core group mm -hmm. that certainly comes, mm -hmm. but depending on the topic, different people will come out because it's touching their heart. And Carrie can talk about uh, one of our really important topics for us was uh, the purge. We're military, retired military, and the showing of the fruit machine. Now, I don't know that. Can you tell that story? Well, the fruit machine uh, basically is a documentary, and the name of the person who created it has totally escaped me. But um, the fruit machine itself was a machine that someone had tried to devise to be able to find homosexuals. It was something like a lie detector machine that they would hook them up to, and if they answered these questions or reacted, then, oh, you're a homosexual. That's the basis of the name fruit machine. It was, believe it or not, it was in use through the 50s and 60s and 70s when the military were trying to purge homosexuals and the public servants were trying to purge homosexuals and the RCMP. Um, it's a very dark period in our history that went on till the 90s where people were just rounded up and thrown out because of the fact that they were homosexual or thought to be homosexual. Um, the documentary itself deals with the persons, the people, that this affected, and it's a very compelling documentary. We showed it during Pride Month. That was one of our discussions. It, it was fairly well attended mm -hmm. because I think a lot of people were interested in that particular thing. Okay. Well, I, I knew about that story. I didn't know that's what it was called, but mm -hmm. it's it, up to the 70s they were doing it. Oh, past the 70s, oh, past actually. The 70s. It was into 70s. the 90s yes. they were still. Yeah. Really, really. Well, that's why, you, you know, you need groups like you. 
to do this because we've got to learn about each other and, and accept each other and, and that's fine you know yeah. just learn and we do yeah this is uh, this is what we're trying to do yeah and topics can be uh, do we really dance differently um, <laughs> you know some of our other topics were um, could Jesus be gay so we go spiritual and secular it doesn't matter where what our topic is and if people have topics that are or questions that they'd like us to cover that's fine for us to uh to be talked uh, about and have uh, emails about that Absolutely. or facebook do a bit of homework and do and a little then bit of homework it. and then do it now you you're, you're doing your meetings at uh, the trinity united church what an accepting church I yes, it is. Reverend Chris yes. Ryan, he goes to your meetings. Yes, yes he does. absolutely. Yeah, yes. absolutely. Yeah, he's been involved uh, ever since he came here. Oh, mm -hmm. he's been here Definitely. for a few years. In, yes. In this. Yeah. So good for him. Good. For, and this was named something else before. Rainbow it was called Island? Rainbow Sabbath. Okay. Before we morphed it, evolved it, and it grew into Rainbow 101. Okay. It was a group to, to get together and have potlucks, but just to kind of check in with each other. But we've added an educational component to try and um, inspire people to, to come on out and, and let's, let's learn about each other. Now, how do people do that? How do people get uh, involved? How do people, do they just show up? Can you tell people how to do that? Carrie runs a Facebook page and a website. She got back to me very quickly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but yeah, we, we advertise it, I guess, mm -hmm. uh, across a few pl different platforms, uh, let people know that it's going on. We, we hand, you know, get information out. Trinity itself is, is, is mm. makes sure that the word gets out that it's coming on. Like it's, being, it's been sort of growing in, uh, and more and more interest is being shown. So. Uh, yeah, it's it just seems to be morphing in 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 a nice way. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. Now pre-COVID, our uh, our Pride uh, parade we had, that was amazing. That was one of the biggest events I think Smith Falls ever had too. So uh, people are there. People are you know it's amazing that the support that is there. But uh, like I say, it was one of the biggest events we had here in Smith Falls. I don't know whether you yes were, we marched there. The, yeah. mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, it yeah. was yes. a big event. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> one of you is from Perth. I am. You're Perth am and you're Perth. the Westport area. The so, Westport. Yes, yeah. yeah, yeah, excellent, excellent. Well, I thank you very much for coming here and telling us more about Rainbow 101. Uh, I, I continue to, to love to learn about this sort of stuff too, so it's great to have, have uh, venues for people to come out to. So, um, the dates again? It's the third Friday? The second. second. Second Friday of the month. Second Friday of the month at Trinity, Trinity United. United Church. Very yep. supportive of us, and okay. we're very thankful. They are, they are. And it's potluck? Bot luck. Bot luck. Bot luck. Come well, and have a good. warm conversation around a nice meal. It, mm -hmm. it just adds to it. Excellent. And you said it was Fridays? On yes. Fridays. On Fridays. Well, I thank you very much for joining me today. I love the fact that your names are on Carrie and Mary. <laughs> 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 and they're their coordinators. Carrie Cunningham, Mary Wright, the coordinators of Rainbow 101. Lanark, thank you very much for coming and joining us. And uh, come back again and we'll learn some more. Thank, thank you. Thank you.